Hey guys, Wet Movie One back here again for yet another little out and about video for you guys today. This video brings me out to Magnolia and Cordova out here in uh, Burbank, California for a very special uh, screening tonight uh, of a movie from my childhood called Small Soldiers. And of course, it's being held over here at Be Kind Video. The director, Joe Dante, is in appearance today. They even have gremlins in the window. And of course, the little ad uh, for today's event, the 25th anniversary of Small Soldiers. But as you guys can see, the people are lining up for the event already all the way down the street. And always remember to follow them on their Instagram. Some of the people at the front of the line for the, for the screening tonight, and they brought some cool lunch boxes. Did you guys recently find these ones, or did you guys have these ones for years? We've had them for a minute, yeah. That is super yeah. cool. So is that your, is this your favorite uh, Joe Dante movie, is the Gremlins? Yeah, I'd have to say Gremlins. And I'm over here with uh, one of my friends, one of the autograph seekers. Holly D. There we go, man. You have uh, some stuff over here you want to get signed by Joe. Yeah, because they're already signed by Howie Mandel, the voice of Gizmo. Dude, how, how did you get Howie? You, I waited for him after a show and he just signed all my stuff. That is that's super rad, man. Yeah. Like, you, I, I never really see Howie Mandel out, out in the yeah, wild. Yeah, he's uh, tough. Uh, yeah, autograph-wise. tough to find, but I'll find him. <laughs> just got into the video store. People are filing in uh, as we speak. And one of the cool things to have in here are some of the action figures from Small Soldiers. Some VHS tapes all along the sides over here. So, so cool. So, some of these action figures are kind of kind of hard to find, but so cool that they even had a little display for them. Joe Dante just showed up. The director of The Howling, The Burbs, Matinee, Gremlins, Gremlins 2, The New Batch, Twilight Zone, The Movie. Please welcome Joe Dante. <laughs> And he brought a special guest with him, Adam Rifkin. <laughs> the movie's about to begin. Catch you guys after. Well guys, I just got out of the Be Kind video event. Really cool people showed up today. We got my boy Adam Rifkin and the master himself, Joe Dante. How are you guys doing today? We're doing good, but you didn't even see the movie. Oh, I've seen the movie. I've, I've, I've owned it for years. Small Soldiers is amazing. It's an amazing one. I'm not gonna lie, Gremlins is my favorite of yours. Detroit Rock City is my favorite of his. But when it comes to video stores, do you guys have any video store memories? Like saying like when your movies like came out there and where people were seeing them, or do you have any old video store memories? Well, I, I was in New York for a while, so I remember Kim's video. And I remember a lot. The a legendary lot. Kim's video. But yeah, and, and uh, you know, and wherever Quentin worked, where, where did Quentin? Video archive. Video archive. Uh, I mean, I remember all those, and uh, I think, yeah, I went to I went to video stores, but the great thing about video stores is you could pick up the box, and you could read what the movie was, and if you don't want it, you could go to the next movie. Not like Netflix, where you push a button and you get a little square, and you go, ah, and you go to the next thing. So, you, per you guys prefer physical media over the new digital age? There is no digital age. All physical media. If you don't own it, you don't own it. That's, and that's why I like these, these guys right here. Mm -hmm. But when, when, it, when it comes, you know, to you guys making movies, is there, you know, for both of you... That's what we used to No, when, when, <laughs> when it comes to the strike. <laughs> yeah, before the strike. But when it comes to both of you guys, um, is there a movie that you guys made that you guys wish you guys maybe could have changed something to make it better? You know, like, because you know how artists... All of them. Every movie. Every movie. Right? Every? Uh, every filmmaker looks at it. It's hard to watch your own movies. You go, oh, why do I do that? You know, it's just, it just comes from the territory. I don't care who you are. Just Cooper, anybody. You know, Cooper kept remaking his movies after they were released. Yeah. You know, I mean, we're never happy. But have you guys ever had a screening of a of, of your, one of you guys' movies at an actual video store before? I have not. It's very exciting. Yeah. Yeah. First time for me. I, I, I did, right the now. Video store virgins. The video store virgins. <laughs> but I'm not gonna lie. Right now, I'm kind of geeking out to be with two of my two of my favorite filmmakers of of all time right you now. Tell, you can see it. Like I, I even came like like, like an autograph person, like an autograph weirdo, and I feel kind of weird doing that, but I had to. You know, Embr embrace the weirdness. Embrace, embrace your inner weirdness. Yeah, yeah. But have you guys ever had any weird experiences with autograph people at all that made you go like, I, I don't like doing this, or like like being famous? Oh, no, not that I don't like doing it, but there sometimes some strange people come up to you, particularly at conventions. Conventions? Yeah. You have any weird stories, Adam? I wouldn't say there are any stories I'd want to repeat, but there are some people who are 
perhaps lacking a little in the social graces that you have to kind of um, move, you know, them along. move them along. Move them along. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> there is something I wanted to ask you because recently Vinegar Syndrome put out a collection of your short films, the Adam Rifkin Film Festival. That's right. I actually just got received it in the mail the oh, other day. Cool, thank you. I, I haven't watched it yet. What are your thoughts about the company putting that out? Well, it's completely surreal, but I'm delighted. Uh, these are the movies that I made when I was a child with my father's Super 8 movie camera. The first one I made, I was probably about six. And then, you know, all, all the ones that survived throughout the years, I made more than ultimately were able to be transferred for this collection because they got lost over time. But the ones that survived, they're all on the disc and uh, they're from ages about six to about 19 or 20. So all the movies I made throughout my childhood and then the first short I made that helped me get my first feature made. And uh, is there any actors that are in those shorts ever make it into your feature films? I know you're like carrying over people. Well, the main actor who, who's in all of my films, including many of my childhood films, is Miles Dougal, that, yeah. who I went to high school with. So you'll see him in there. But is there anything that you can share with us when it comes to video stores? Do you, do you have like a favorite VHS? Like that, like this holds like a special place in your heart, like the cover art may, may have done something to you or well, what have you? When I was 14, I worked in a video store in Chicago. I loved video stores. Being a movie fanatic, going through the aisles of a video store and seeing all the different covers and all the great artwork on all, of all the different movie posters on the, on the slip covers and everything, it was just like being surrounded by cinema. It was such an exciting feeling and experience. It's very sad to me that today, young movie fans don't have that experience. Mm -hmm. They go online, they see if it's streaming or not, but there's no discovery. You know, when you're going through movies looking for something on a shelf, suddenly you're, you're, you're exposed to titles you've never heard of, boxes, on the back, the descriptions of what the movies are. You discover things, you take things home that you never would have known they existed, and then suddenly you've got a new favorite movie. That's what happened with me with Phantasm. Mm. I didn't know Phantasm existed until I saw it on the shelf of the mom and pop video store around the corner from where I grew up. Blew my mind, mm -hmm. you know? So, one example, one example. Yeah, it was kind of like with me with like Sleepaway Camp and like, Perfect. you know, yeah. weird, weird movies like exactly. that. So, do you guys have anything that you guys can share with the view, the fans of your of your movies, uh, like they like a special memory that you guys have, you know, ma making any particular project that just like stays with you. No, I just tell them to go to my website, Trailers from Hell, and to uh, listen to my podcast, The Movies That Made Me. The Movies That Made You, and people can find that on Spotify. They can find it anywhere. It's Maybe. a great. It's a great. Uh, He's been on it. I have. It's it's a great podcast. He he co-hosts it with Joe uh, with Josh Olson. Oh, that, that, that's killer. So yeah. what, what, what have you been up to, Adam? I just finished a movie. It's a Western. Yeah, I it's, saw that. It's called Last Train to Fortune. It was written by my mom. Really? Yeah. That, 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 that's super exciting. I can't, I can't wait to see it. Thanks. We're editing it right now. Yeah. Anybody in there that you can tell us about or anything kind of cool? Malcolm McDowell, Bernadette Peters, Mary Steenburgen, and James Paxton, son of Bill Paxton, who's playing the role his father was originally going to play. That, that, that sounds exciting. That's a scoop. That, that, that is super cool. I really do appreciate you guys taking a moment or two of your time uh, to talk to me. It means more to me than you guys know. And uh, Adam, I love you, brother. Love you, man. Always a pleasure. Uh, you have anything you want to let people know to follow you? Um, um, I'm on all the. I'm easy to find on all the social media apps. I am now on Threads. Yeah. yeah what, what is that Threads? You got that Threads are for hipsters. It's a. Uh, no, it's, 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 a it's, it's to get away from Elon Musk. It's a. It's a Twitter uh, competitor. Oh, okay, that's what it is. The small soldier screening is now over. A lot of people have coming out right now, and uh, we just want to show some of the cool stuff. A couple of people got some autographs tonight. Where did you get this print from? It's an art piece by Jason Edmiston, and it's uh, from a series called Eyes Without a Face, and he just uh, does the eyes. Of, uh, oh, I, think I've, I think I've seen some of these ones, like ho horror villains and yeah, yeah, yeah. different things like that. Sure. That is super cool, oh, yeah, man. Fun. You were one of the lucky ones. Now I'm with my boys, the two Mats. Over here, Matt's Mortuary and Matt, the owner of Be Kind Video. So how do you guys think it turned out today? It's incredible. It's like way exceeded our expectations. But what made you guys, out of all the movies Joe Dante's made, from like Gremlins to Inner Space and all that jazz, what made you guys go with Small Soldiers? That's Matt. 
uh, I'm, I'm nuts about this movie. <laughs> That's really what it comes from is when I was a kid, this was like my movie, like 100%. Like I, this was like Star Wars to me as a kid. Like I, my mom didn't want me to see it. My dad uh, allowed me to see it uh, kind of without even asking her. And it just became this like, uh, I don't know, this thing I was really obsessed with for almost a year. It made quite a huge impact on me. So if we could show anything of Joe's filmography, I feel like Gremlins gets shown quite a bit. Yeah. I feel like The Howling gets shown quite a bit. I've heard about like, you know, the Legion and stuff showing The Howling. So I never hear about this getting screenings. And with this being the 25th anniversary weekend right now, I yeah. was like, this is the time. So you did have Joe Dante and Adam Rifkin in your store. True, true. You had, you had to get something signed, didn't you? I got two things signed. Yeah, you did. Look yeah. at this. Got this sweet teaser poster for Small Soldiers, signed by Joe and Adam right there. So rad. So rad. That, that, that's a, I like that. I like that poster. Double-sided, because you know it's real. Yeah, the, the, the OG. Yes. Right there. But you had to go. You had to go horror as well. I did. And he brought his uh, Howling yes. uh, DVD right there. Got Joe to sign it. So rad. Is that... I don't know, man. It's not... That's never been one of my favorite horror movies, but it is... It is cool. Yeah. No, people love it. And, you know, there's that line in Scream, and the girl comes in the video store, and she's like, what's that werewolf movie with E.T.'s mom? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and the answer is this. So would you say... Would you say that's your favorite Joe Dante movie of all time, or do you have one? Gremlins 2. Gremlins 2? Okay. Definitely. Definitely. So yeah. if you guys want to know what's coming up with them... Make sure you guys follow Matt at Match Mortuary on Instagram and follow Be Kind Video on Instagram for updates. Uh, anything in your last words, guys? So there's a lot coming up that we can't announce, but the one that we can announce is Ernie Reyes Jr. presenting Surf Ninjas uh, September 23rd. Um, oh. So look forward to that. And who's the other guy from Surf Ninjas that I think? Nick. Uh, Nick's Nick, the younger brother. Uh, so that's yeah. it's the thirtieth anniversary. That's so you're gonna have two of the, two of the we're kids. Two, we're mm -hmm. having the brothers from Surf Ninjas. Maybe get Rob Schneider. We'll see. <laughs> that'd be that'd be rad. Or how, or how about how about Ernie's father? Oh, you know oh. what I'm saying? Like Ernie Ernie's dad. Oh, because he, okay. he that's the first. I think it's the first and first movie they they start together in the, in a movie. Right? Really? Okay. I, could, I could be wrong. Yeah, we'll I, find out. We'll find out. We will find out. But yes. make sure you guys check them out. Links are down below to their Instagrams and. Uh, Thanks, brothers. Thank you. We've come to that point of the video where we're going to head on home and show you guys what I got autographed today. You guys know I have to go through the autographs because I have an autograph addiction. I don't know. I don't know what it is. You know what I'm saying? Like, I have an autograph problem. But uh, it was fun going down to this event at Be Kind Video, uh, getting to uh, meet Joe Dante. I talked to I met him and talked to him once or twice before in the past. I mean, like briefly at different events and things, uh, but it was surprise it was surprising to me that Adam Rifkin uh, showed up. I, I didn't really see him announced, and if they posted about it, I, I didn't personally see it. I missed it, and uh, I brought on over my um, my childhood VHS of uh, Small Soldiers over here. I have it in this little protective case now, uh, signed by you know uh, Adam Rifkin right here on the side in green. Same thing with Joe Dante in green. I was hoping to maybe get them in two different colors, but it's okay. It is what it is. But I uh, got two. Got the writer, one of the main writers and the director of a Small Soldiers uh, autograph on this uh, VHS right here. I think it's cool. This movie is always, always a lot of fun. I have the Blu-ray in my collection as well. But uh, yeah, like I said, um, Adam Rifkin, a uh, really super cool guy. Made a whole bunch of cool movies like The Dark Backward and, uh, of course, Detroit Rock City, uh, which is one of my favorite, personal favorite movies of his. That and The Last Movie Star, uh, the movie that he made with Burt Reynolds. And uh, if you guys don't know, the only reason I was able to meet Burt Reynolds and get to have a little evening, sort of, sort of, you know, a couple moments with him was because of Adam, uh, Adam Rifkin and stuff, that the director of the film. If you guys remember that video I made going to the after party and stuff like that for that movie, it was amazing. But you guys know, uh, I, 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 I'm starting to collect uh, certain things, uh, certain things that are autographed uh, by directors only. And um, I had to bring on this. My little director clapboard thing that I got, uh, my little addiction I have of getting directors that I like, uh, autographs on clapboards. And uh, he wrote Detroit Rock City uh, in orange right there. He, 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 you know, he wrote out his name and he, he, uh, he gave the autograph down here, which I think is cool, man. You know what I mean? Like I have a little, a little collection going of these little uh, autograph movie clapboards uh, right here. 
So I, I, I had to get that one. But like I said, I didn't even know Adam was going to show up. If I did, I maybe would have brought something else. But I'm glad I brought an extra uh, clapboard uh, right there and this uh, VHS. So I also uh, brought one on over and got one signed by Joe Dante. He wrote Gremlins in green and his autograph in red, which I probably should have probably got it in silver. You know, just me having, you know, my autograph OCD, you know, kind of thing going on. But it still came out cool. The director of Gremlins and, of course, Inner Space and a whole bunch of cool stuff. You know, Explorers and the Burbs, you know, Joe Dante, man, a legend in, in, in the film game right here. But that's not the only thing I got signed today. I did bring on over some other stuff. I didn't know how the how it was all going to go down and stuff. I've kind of felt like a weird, like you know, um, crazy autograph seeker. You know, when when it comes to the uh, the little bit of amount of stuff I did bring, uh, I got like like five five items, five six items, five five items signed. And uh, one of the ones I got right here was my old laser disc of Explorers, uh, signed by Mr. Joe Dante, and he put the inscription of director uh, under there. If you guys don't know this movie from the 80s, starring Ethan Hawke and stuff about these kids building a spaceship, it's, it's amazing. It's just one of those movies that I always have a nostalgia, uh, nostalgia vibe for. But the last thing I got signed uh, right here is, is on something I don't really collect very much. I, don't, I only have two other uh, autograph Funko Pops in my collection. Uh, I did have a couple of other ones, and I, I, tra I traded them and stuff or whatever I did with them. But um, I brought this on over and got it signed as well. A gizmo, a Funko Pop with Gizmo holding up the 3D glasses, but had it signed by Mr. Joe Dante, the director of both the Gremlins movies. So uh, a Funko Pop, a laser disc, uh, a, a movie clapboard, and a you know VHS and stuff. So I think that's kind of cool, uh, right there. It's pretty much everything uh, I got signed right there. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, I know my interviews are not like you know crazy in depth or anything like that. It's just kind of like on the fly, you know, t talking about you know physical media and things like that and what people uh, in the film industry think about it and certain people you know have different opinions and things but if you guys have missed it and haven't seen the video I made with Adam Green at Be Kind Video the same guy that made the Hatchet movies and stuff like that if you missed it check out that video as well on my YouTube channel but that's all I have to show and talk to you guys about today that's everything I got autographed thank you so much for watching thank you Be Kind Video for putting on this cool event can't wait for the next ones to come and I'll see you guys on the next one.